I think uh, what uh, El Garouche did is similar to what I'm thinking or preparing myself for the future. He was yeah, pretty much faster than everyone else. So he started winning from the front. And then when he did that, uh, and he already had done it in previous championships, he started doing other things and kind of uh, yeah, testing, uh, testing other uh, like tactics out, uh, staying behind and then going the last uh, 800. So I feel like first, uh, first goal is probably to be as good as, as you can just run from the front and then uh, win everything. But when you have done that, it's probably uh, to look for, for other challenges and uh, other ways to, to win. Yeah. How are you at uh, dealing with expectations? Because whenever you race now, people are expecting a lot of you. Um, are you good at blocking that out or, or is it something that you tend to, to welcome? Of course, it's expectations are always a, a good thing, um, but I usually don't usually don't read comments or or anything that any other uh, people are uh, expecting or uh, or saying uh, because I, I know that I'm <laughs> going to be really disappointed if I, I'm not winning, uh, even if I'm uh, a worse runner than my competitors. I will still aim for uh, finishing first, and then I, obviously I will get disappointed the first races and first couple of years. Uh, but then that's like my my uh, yeah my, my mentality going into races that I'm always going to win even if I'm I'm worse. So it's it's still uh, I'd say I have or the expectations that I put on myself are always going to be a little bit better than or harder to to uh, fulfill than uh, everybody else's. Yeah, and what's life uh, like in in Norway for you now? You guys are are famous, uh, very famous people there. Can, can you can you live life normally at the moment, or? Um, of course, we uh, we have the, the national TV show that doesn't exactly help uh, our case, <laughs> uh, or it makes us famous or, or known in the uh, uh, yeah in the um, the country. But at the same time, I I never wanted to be famous. That's probably uh, a weird thing to say, but uh, I just wanted to to win, and of course, I want to win the Olympics and the uh, the races on the the big stage. Uh, and of course, if you do that, you're going to be famous and uh, known for for doing those uh, those things. But uh, yeah, uh, I want a, a normal life with uh, with my family in the end, and I I believe that's going to be a, a tough task uh, after all this. Do you guys get stopped when you're out training, or the, do you notice the attention more? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I've been. Uh, it's more like you you deal with. Uh, you don't want anybody to to look your way. Whatever you do, that's probably the the case uh, nowadays. Everybody knows uh, us, especially in uh, in Norway. Uh, so we can't do anything without people. Uh, uh, yeah looking at us so that's sometimes that's that's tough you would just want to you know uh, do your own thing and go buy your groceries uh, without people staring but that's not a case <laughs> <laughs> is, is that easy so of course do? i'm gonna stay as much as possible in my uh, apartment <laughs> so where where are you based are you still, still in uh, sanders yes um and and the family are all, all still close by yeah, Phillips uh, moved to the uh, east coast to Oslo, right? Uh, but the rest of us is still still on the west coast. So it's right. uh, but it's it's really nice. There's people are uh, yeah, they're usually helping us, you know, cheering for us and uh, want uh, what's best for us. But uh, and at the same time, there's uh, really nice uh, opportunities for training in in Sunnes with the trails and. Uh, the stadium and uh, indoor uh, stadium as well so it's really nothing to complain about for for me to uh yeah train or uh do this at this level it's probably one of the best places uh in the world i believe for other than attitude training yeah. we have everything that we need here 